Male circumcision is one of many effective prevention methods in the fight against HIV. It can reduce HIV acquisition for men by about 60%. Voluntary Medical Male Circumcision, or VMMC, is a one-time cost-effective procedure that is now widely available in countries with a high burden of HIV. But meeting aggressive implementation targets for VMMC has been a key challenge. Voluntary medical male circumcision hit a plateau in recent years. So people started asking questions regarding demand and demand creation. How were we going to get those that saw the benefit but hadn't quite made the decision to actually get circumcised? I mean, you're trying to convince a man to come in for an operation to have a part of his body removed. So it's going to, it's going to require some thought from him <laughs> before he decides to do that. I was very afraid of it. I was a little bit scared. Like, I was never so scared to, to do this thing, yeah. More often than not, there is an element of anxiety as they're coming in. So we need to kind of find those new answers that will bring HIV negative and healthy men for circumcision. Whatever we do must be evidence-based and it also has to be evaluated so that we can uh, we transform that into policy. With support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 3IE funded seven innovative pilot interventions designed to increase the uptake of VMMC. In order to make the results quickly available to policymakers, 3IE simultaneously funded rapid impact evaluations to determine the effectiveness of the different strategies. The interventions range from the use of educational SMS campaigns to sports mentorship to incentive-based programs encouraging men to come to VMMC clinics. One study in South Africa was led by Reed College and the Center for HIV and AIDS Prevention Studies. Their pilot intervention tested the effectiveness of behavior change messaging through postcards coupled with financial incentives. We found studies in South Africa and in similar communities that had found that messaging on postcards was very effective in getting people just to go and walk through the door. For this study, we had three different messages printed on postcards that we would hand out anywhere in the community. The one message was appealing to men's masculinity. If you're going to be a man by being circumcised, whether that would appeal and bring the men to the clinics. The other one was appealing to the partner, saying that women preferred circumcised men. And the other one was just purely the HIV prevention. So we wanted to see whether that health benefit to them would be the calling card that would bring them in. We also tried all three of these messages with and without compensation to try and see whether the compensation made a difference. Something that would cover transport if they needed to get to the facility. So they would give in the postcard. They would have to undergo the counselling in order to access the 100 Rand. So that they check everything, it went well. They would then be given the money and then they could make the decision of whether they wanted to be circumcised or not. My name is Dr. Tumisani. It's not major surgery as such. There are guys that actually come in during their lunch hour. They get assisted and they immediately go back to work. It was around five minutes. It was quick, easy. While we were doing the impact evaluation with Reed College, one of the things that was very distinct was that the monetary value that was linked to the card had a very, very big effect on getting the client to come to the clinic. Offering money together with that message was stronger than just giving one of those three messages. We almost got to 100% conversion rate. By the time they actually got through the door and went through the counselling session, it's a relatively inexpensive way of getting people to come and seek information, um, whereas they might not read it off a billboard or whatever the case may be. The South African pilot intervention and its rapid impact evaluation were completed in less than a year. The study showed that small incentives can be effective and that they should be considered when designing VMMC programs. Different strategies will work for different people. We don't really know what will work and what will, will not work unless we do the research and unless we do the evaluation. The results of all seven rapid impact evaluations will help provide critical evidence to policymakers and identify where more research is needed. Studies like this definitely assist the programs and the implementation on the ground. I think uh, impact evaluation help uh, policymakers to select uh, the most effective policy to achieve the expected outcome. Multiple stakeholder relationships um, is, is absolutely critical. So all of these partners that can get together, we, we kind of amplify 
the program to move towards the, the common goal that we need to achieve. If you research something and you have a good finding and you see that being used, that's the most rewarding thing to, to see that we're actually beginning to make an, an impact.